get ready to rumble. <laughs> I'm absolutely ridiculous. And I know that I have some of the weirdest mugs. This one is one of my more normal mugs that I have. But I thought I would share this absolutely incredible, <laughs> incredible creation. Like, look at the little chick. <laughs> Anyways, let's just let me guys welcome back in i don't know when i started doing my own little i need to get like an official it's not a baby shark either i feel like it looks like i'm doing like baby shark it's supposed to be my action but whatever i'm a mess anyways guys welcome back into the walking dead uh to be exact the official dlc for season one 400 days i always try to tack on of summer i don't know why i always want to say 400 days of summer but anyways, I have no idea what we're getting into as the case with most games that I play. I truly, it's not that I haven't had exposure to these kind of things. Like I have heard a lot of these games or even like seasonal episodes specifically, but I just don't go and do research prior. I do, if I'm starting a series, I do like to do like a little bit, like a minimal amount of research specifically to find out when it first came out and stuff. Um, but with this, I'm really just going to dive straight into it. I would imagine it's what proceeds after season one and maybe is like our transition into season two, um, because I do think I think Clem's a part of season two. See, I don't even know that. I don't even I don't even know what season two is about to be about. So about to be about. Anyways, let's just dive straight into it. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. And also, I did want to let you guys know that after some really good feedback and um, a little bit of research on my own part, I do agree that I don't actually like the add-on um, black texture that causes, I guess it was to define things more or maybe be a little bit more of a sharp contrast. Um, but I did go ahead and turn off the black screen so it is just exactly how it came out in its original state. And I do kind of like that better. So I hope you guys enjoy and yeah <laughs> let's get started all right <laughs> morning thoughts of maggie but just so you know one morning voice maggie but two um <clears throat> i took a pill this morning and that sounds really crazy this wasn't like a matrix kind of thing i took like my <laughs> like a supplement this morning essentially and it's like lodged somewhere in my throat I don't know what's going on and like I don't like you think that you took it well and and you know I took it with water and everything it's not like I took it right off the rip with nothing but oh my gosh I feel like it's burning <laughs> it's like clawing its way down my throat <laughs> Anyways, that was just, I thought that since I was suffering through that, everybody else should hear that too. Let's get started. <laughs> I'm a mess. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. I feel like that's like the SVU intro. Dang it, I need to hear that like noise when I hear that. Mm -mm. I'm so excited to be back. I had to take some serious time off to recover from the tears and the emotions that I felt on the last episode. Gills pit stop. Diesel 198? If gas prices are like that, would it be so bad? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Thanks for stopping by. See? All the zombies want that good gas. That good <laughs> I always call them zombies. I know they're more, like, defined as walkers. Tomato, tomato, I don't know. I think I, I tend to veer towards calling them zombies just because I feel like if I had seen the TV series, maybe I would have been more in tune to call them walkers more often. Morning. Aw. So many missing people. Or, wait, does this cover what happened before it started? I just assumed that it covered what happened after the fact. I hope this does talk about what happened before. I know it starts us off with scene walkers, but it'd be really cool if it highlighted. I don't think it's going to, though. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize I could. Wyatt. Oh, shoot! I didn't realize I was able to... Okay, I see what's happening. Oh, well, Wyatt it is. <laughs> Wyatt it is. Ooh. 
quiet. 41 days in. Cool. Okay. Hopefully we get to God, choose all so the different fun. characters. Why the hell did you shoot that guy, man? What the hell was that? I didn't mean to do it. It just happened, okay? Where the fuck were you with a warning? Me? You're putting that on me now? 41 days in. I didn't in. see the guy either. I was too worried those dudes were gonna pull guns on us. Shit! Dude, how'd they catch up to us? Who gives a shit? Just... Ooh. Hurry up, Eddie! Here, man. Shoot! Those Casey lights? All right. Uh, okay. Get him, man! Oh, are you kidding me? Jesus, man. Jesus. We're just starting off like this? God, so fucked up. This is such a waste of bullets. I feel like we truly need this for... Holy shit, man. Did you get him? Are they back there? Wyatt? Dude, are they there or not? Come on! Uh, Wyatt, talk maybe they crashed. at me, man! All right, I don't see I don't anything. see anything. Are you sure? Those guys wouldn't just give so up. I don't see anything. Here, here. I'll turn off. Like a shirt. It's not a bad place to turn off. I feel like at 41 days, there'd be a pretty immense amount of walkers Do around. Look on me, man. I'm not being an asshole. I'm being smart. No lights, no, uh, you know, they can't see us. Christ, I can taste blood in my mouth. I think we already did. I don't think it's mine. I can't Wait, see crashing a damn thing out here. Right man, just... I guess that makes sense. This is so fucked. Crashing into a cow ain't gonna help anything, Oh, man. shit! I should watch out for cows! Cows! Why didn't I think of that? When's the last time you saw a cow, dude? Okay, bad example, but you could still hit something, man. <laughs> cow! Shit. Don't barf just yet, okay? We could only Please. be so lucky. This road is really straight. We'll be fine. At least slow down. What? Fuck no. Did you see that one guy's eyes, man? He's fucking gorked. I don't oh. want that guy in my life, Wyatt. What a word. What a word. What if there's something on the road? How did this go so wrong? You're covered in that guy's blood. God, how did that go so wrong? Is that some kind of dig at me? No, man. I'm just saying. It's like, I just... Why didn't they say anything? Guy's taking a shit over there. That's all they had to say. It's bullshit. <gasps> oh, I didn't mean to. Look, Wyatt. All I know is those guys had me all jacked up, like I was on speed or something. I was just on edge, you know. I realize they have the sticker on the bottom yeah, of the like still. Watching that guy's brains come out of the back of his head. I'm sorry, man. I. Hmm. Thanks for getting us out of there. I feel like, again, you guys know I well, tend to go with the, thanks like, for getting us out, anyway. not even neutral option, just keeping the peace option. <laughs> this isn't good. It's about time. I will punch your eyes. <laughs> See? It's fine. Road straight as my dick. Oh. It's good to know think we're in the clear not till we get out of this fog don't talk about your dick <laughs> I kind of wanted to see his response <laughs> oh man was that a pun no when did you start making puns I said no idiot gosh can we just all appreciate why it's amazing <laughs> hair and beard the all sheer right, epicness of it why didn't you have a girlfriend? Please never talk again. <laughs> um. Really? See if there's still any sticky in the glove box. I'm sorry, what? All right, so real quick before I kind of make these things, I, I do want to speak to Come it. On, man. Check the Hold on. Oh, I can't. Okay, I can't pause. I do want to speak to it real quick. I think I, I didn't do like a lot of reflection in my actions at the end of the last episode of season one. But what one thing that I did learn from it is I think ultimately, yes, your choices have impacts on who makes it to the end. And I saw that in the episode where it showed us how many different options you could have ended with Lee going into the final stages of season one. Um, but I think I just hyper analyzed everything like over over analyzed and so I'm gonna try to take a step back I mean like I was even over analyzing stray like the cat game <laughs> so I'm gonna try to take a step back from that that's kind of how I, I, I tend to over analyze a lot of things um, in real life too but I'm gonna try really hard to 
make my decisions based not only on what I don't want to make my decisions on what the game wants. I do want to make my decisions off of like what I would choose in that moment if I was in that situation. I always go back and forth on like I just toggle between which one to make. So I know I overthink. I'm going to try to fix it and hopefully it reflects better in this one. Love box. <laughs> Remember when right. TJ got high and tried to put a pancake in the CD player? No. Oh. As long as it was a blueberry pancake. All right, so before I open that, let's I just peep at oh everything. Oh my god, what? Shut up. Amory room mirror. I can't see anything out there. Who are you talking to? You? Oh. If the walkers what don't get say? us, the gators will. see anything sticky Dude, it's in there look harder i don't see it what i do see is that ammo that you lost last week oh my god really Ooh. but is there any weed oh is that what sticky is <laughs> you know one time i was going out with this girl right abigail you remember her and she told me that i'd rather five, load the gun her dad took her to the circus sideshow they walked around for a while saw the chick with two heads saw a dude with lobster hands some kind of monkey human with a dick for a face i don't know I think loading the gun is probably more important right this second thanks hmm okay weird but okay <gasps> shit <laughs> ah uh, yes because you can't have a walker game without a little car holy crash holy shit dude holy shit did you get a look I think that was a guy. Wyatt, come on, man, say something. Was that a dude or not? What I think it was. The fucking fog. Couldn't have been human. This night is so fucked, man. It had to have been a walker. It didn't look human, alive, whatever. Really? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Look me in the eyes and say that. You heard me, Eddie. Stay strong. Let's see if there's anything around the car. No. You know, anything that'll like tell us one way or the other. No, why does that it matter? We can just book. But I'm not leaving if we hit a human being, man. I'm just not. That's where your moral compass stops. It's just man, so don't weird. roll it down broken. I can't see through the cracks. Look, it's fine, see? <laughs> Dude, what's that on the broken side mirror? I don't want to know. Glove box, cracked windshield. Does that blood look fresh to you? Yeah, but it's kind of dark. Yeah, damn. You think that blood on the windshield is fresh or rotten? It's part of a shirt, I think. Yeah, but plenty of dead guys have shirts on. Keep looking. What's See, if, the road? if they know, like if they know that there's walkers, I really, I feel like Man, in that situation, really I wouldn't anything. have been stopping to. Is that the mirror from the car? Focus, that's Can't a shoe. I think it's a shoe, y'all. Look, Wyatt. It was a guy. Are you sure? Yes. He How sure? Pretty fucking sure. Don't fuck with Tiny Carlos, sure. Jesus. So what do we do? What do you mean, what do we do? We go out there. Uh, hell no. Get out there and what? Actually, go out there and what? Good point. Find the guy and help him. Who the hell are you tonight? If it's a guy. It's a guy. I saw him. Come on, man. This is stupid. We go out there, we check it out, we get moving. I'll go get me the gun. I think I should go by myself. I feel like he should stay in the car for the quick getaway. I'll go. Give me the gun. Dude, I'm the one who got us into this. I'm the one who hit him. Should be me going. Then why did you ask which one of us should go? Oh, sorry. Next time I get into this exact crazy fucking situation, I'll figure out how I feel before I talk. <laughs> I feel like I can't win with this guy. Okay. Well. Shit. Okay. Here, we'll rock, paper, scissors for it. I just said I'll go. I just said I'll go. <laughs> I kind of do want to rock, paper, scissors, though. Are you fucking serious? No. Come on. Sitting here is making me nervous. Okay. Man, I can't Only because I want to play. Shit. Dude, two seconds, it's over. Okay, 
All right, two out of three, right? I feel like I'm usually good sure. at this. One, two, three, go. Oh, no, I'm not. Man. Okay, all right. One, two, three, go. Call his bluff, yes. Scissors? Who fucking picks scissors? Here all I right, am. dude. This is it. I feel like he's gonna go paper again. Shit. One. And two, we already know he said three, he doesn't go scissors. Go. Oh! Fuck! What are the chances? The stalemate. Of that? Okay. One, two, three. And now rock? Go. Nice. Balls. So he balls, 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 balls. Okay. <laughs> you and your damn rock. I'm usually good at it. Looks like it's me. I said it would be me. Should I have lost? I probably should have lost on purpose, so I was the one to go. I really think I should have. All right. But then my competitive nature kicked in and I had to win this. Even if it was scripted and they give you ample opportunities to, to beat him. <laughs> is there anything else I can do other than talk to him? Yeah. Uh, Wyatt is smart for moving into the driver's seat though. Eddie! man dude leave me the fuck alone all right this is my speed he has the gun too in case we need to get out of here quick well that should have happened from the beginning way to go idiot oh no hey wyatt i ate paint when i was a kid die just give me pennywise it's the smallest hoopty in the world uh wait what is that to smash the light okay well let's turn the hey. light on you can see better with that guy on. I don't like that. All right. Floorboard. It's got to be under the seat. Are you are, you piece of shits. Why didn't he just leave them the ignition? I don't like this. Oh, I should have turned the light on. Shit! Ah! Come yeah. here, bastard. Ah, was that because I turned the light on? They still would have seen it. What am I doing? <gasps> okay, so I needed to move and not just wait for him to pull me out. Okay. You just leave them the <laughs> that was on me. Let's count how many deaths I get, Wyatt. Shit! He means ah! business too. Come here, you little bastard. Yeah, but what am I supposed to do? Okay, so I push him off and then I'm I'm pulling the car shut and then. Okay, we gotta go. Oh god. Oh god. Punch him. Punch him. You would have just shot me, no? Son of a bitch. Time to freaking go. Go, 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 go. Go. Oh man, we just left him too. Oh no, we left Eddie. <laughs> oh, but to be fair, we don't know if one, I think Eddie was dead, but he did have the gun. Okay, how is this gonna end up? Man, okay, Vince, Shell, Bonnie, and Russell. I kinda wanna do... Vince looks like he's having a fun time, but I'm drawn in by the cake in the face for Shell. <laughs> it's definitely selling me. Mm. Bad choices were made on that last chapter. Let's see if we can... Uh, was I supposed to call to him? I don't know how I would have not left Eddie in that moment. Maybe had not had him go if I had gone first. But then I feel like he would have left Wait. me. Two hundred and thirty-six days in. All right. Michelle, your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? I can't imagine. But that's awesome that they show her, like, forming a hobby. Ah! I'm trying to protect her from it as much as possible. Things are stable here, for now. 
I wanted to grow up with this, not what's outside these walls. Becca's a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. I still think they should prepare the kids. Like, especially because she's probably, what, 14, 15? Thanks. 12, 13, 14. Becca, that was great. Protecting Thanks, her sis. isn't... You think we can do something like this every week? As long as it doesn't distract us. Uh, yeah, I mean... Uh, uh, uh. As long as it doesn't distract from keeping this place safe. That's always the priority. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. <laughs> all right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Also, the old lady looks like the woman from Insidious. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. So they are prepping her. I don't want you to mess with those things. I don't think so. Be careful. Cool. Cool. Actually, I wanted to make sure our blades were in good condition first. No rush on the flashlights. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. Wow, okay. They have dogs. I I think I'm really going to like this 400 days. Um, just because I, I don't know, I like seeing like different aspects or situations that are happening during this i feel like this game has just done an incredible job at addressing things that you wouldn't have like you wouldn't instantly think are going to happen or what comes to your mind when you're thinking the zombie apocalypse looks weird in here without the paintings well boyd wanted something to paint his own pictures on i guess it'll be a personal gallery in here when he's done and these people have formed like hobbies and it's showing what they're doing to keep themselves entertained so the far looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, not as many dead visitors back then. <laughs> All right. I don't want to talk to Stephanie yet. Uh, let me look over here real quick. Oh, I can't. The cargo pants. Huh. Love Still it. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. That's good to note. That's actually good. You guys good. need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. How are we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. It's pretty good. This is why I feel like first choice, go melee. Like, get that frying pan. Get the, <laughs> get the katana. What did Roman want? I don't know yet. Are you going to find out? Yeah, in a sec. Sassy. Everybody's so damn sassy. All right, the exit. Georgia Gold. So we're still in Georgia. Yeah. Eesh, these knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry, they're on our list. What's the blood spill? Did you ever find out what happened there? No. Roman said it was like this when he and Stephanie found the place. Could be I anything these that. days, though. Still, better not to think about it. You know, one situation I was thinking about that they haven't covered yet is... Like, if somebody had been... I don't think they did, right? I don't think... No, the main game didn't. If somebody was pregnant, like, right when it started... I'm picturing Quiet Place. Hey, Becca. Think we should start charging the noise, for the inspections oh. we make? Oh, yeah. Then we can spend all our mm. money at nowhere. I'm sorry. They did somewhat address it, because I know in uh, Crawford, the woman was, you know, told she was pregnant, and they said that she had to deal with it, but seeing like a situation if a parent went through like was already well into like the second or third trimester okay wait wait i did check that one out what do you mean i can't loot the register Bruh. we should do an inspection on these make sure they all work shoot i'd be grabbing the forks and stabbing people in the face with them God, what I wouldn't give for a cup of coffee in the morning. Hmm. I guess no power. Employees must wash their hands. This hasn't worked in a long time. 
a soda machine. But where's the ranch? My life was changed forever this morning. I saw somebody put ranch on brownies. I will never think about Still ranch can't the same way. I got this thing working. So much nicer than having to eat raw food all the time. The soup's gonna be a real treat. Glad we thought to bottle our water before it ran out. Smart. This isn't a. I mean, I guess the diner is probably not the worst place in the world to be held up. Holding out or whatever. Ooh, starting to thin out in here. Thank God we have a garden now. Hmm. Bananas. It's a banana drink. Banana flavored drink. Oh. I feel like I'd rather drink cough syrup. I don't miss going on raids for this stuff. We have a lot of mustard. <gasps> oh, you what? scared me. He's hungry. Guess he knows it's feeding time. Ah, those are the watchdogs. Okay. He's not an animal. He's not an animal, Roman. Well, it's not human either. Not anymore. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's mm. best. It's really not. Yeah, I definitely agree. She needs to be as prepared as possible. I know. I just want her to have a little more time to be a kid. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. Oh, I, I don't get back like out that. Front. Looking forward to that soup. I still want to know what happened to all the animals. Like, I, I understand the walkers probably ate a lot of animals in the beginning and things, but like, did animals turn? I know it was... I know how this whole thing started. But you just don't see anything, like any creatures. Oh, God. I don't want to get much closer. Oh, okay. Is that a cat? It's a ginger cat. Well, that answers that. Sometimes you just don't want to know the answers. I guess that's all I had to do back here. Although I can talk to the walker. All right, let's talk. Fair enough, not much of a talker. No, I'm trying to walk backwards and it's not letting me. Okay, there we go. So back inside. <gasps> oh, Jesus, don't ever fucking do that again. Whoa, what's your problem? I do this all the time. You don't get I'm all I'm sorry, I just off. saw something sad. It's not safe to jump out at people. You just you can't go jumping out at people. Not anymore. It's not safe. But... What if I had a weapon? I could have thought you were a walker. What are you talking about? I... Look, I... I just saw our walkers out back eating a, a puppy. Oh, it was a dog. Okay. A puppy? <laughs> yeah. I shouldn't feel better about that, but the cat was so sad. It got to me. You know, it was... It was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but... After a mm. while, you just kind of accept... This is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right? But then, you know, there it is. You see it and you want to protect it and... And now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca... Shell, Becca, something's going on outside. Oh, shit. Sure. What is it? I don't know. Something bad. We got to find Roman. Yeah, I want to know if all these stories are separate or they collide. Come here, everyone. Shit. 
Come on, we gotta find Roman. Let's mop them. If so, care we will. Jesus. What? Largum. My God. Is what he did dead? you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No. They didn't get that close. Yeah, but what's bull? Did he hurt anybody? Who is he? What did he take? He's probably just trying what to get medical take? supplies. Food, medicine, yeah. whatever he could get his hands on. Usual stuff. I couldn't get any other information out of him. I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck in. The second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him. And they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Mm. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some. And send him on but his way. There are more of them. He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, yeah, but then I think why would we would have seen them by now. Beaten. I mean, nobody travels alone by choice anymore, right? We can't just let him go. It's too yeah. dangerous. Who knows if he has friends waiting to attack? Don't you think we would have seen someone by now? At least trying to negotiate to get him back. That is strange. You have a point. I don't know. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with Bree. that goddamn boat. Vernon and the boat oh. are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. Vernon was out for the boat the whole time. And the I... second they left that boat unattended, we just stole it. Oh. That's when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. I don't know why I didn't I remember that. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. Hmm. It's gotta be one or the other. I no. Jesus Christ. Are you serious? Not Vernon's about to right. kill this man. It's gotta be one or the other. We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Good karma? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. Crap. You're the swing vote here, Shell. I don't want to be. What's gonna be? I don't want to kill him. It's not the right thing to do, but what if... I'm gonna die because of we this. We have to set him free. <laughs> we can't. He's not even armed. We can't just kill him. This isn't in self-defense. Isn't it, though? If it means he can't come back to hurt us? That isn't the same thing. But last time... Joyce, that was a long time ago. If we kill this man, then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can never get back. I'm always struggling. My moral compass. What is right I'm by the game or me? Cut him free. I hope you guys know what you're doing. I mean, he doesn't three have food or food. medicine. Three or four cans, just as a gesture of good faith. And get him out of here. I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying, but you better understand this. You came this close to death today. And if you ever, ever come near this place again, or tell anybody where we are, you wish you had died today. So interesting, Becca, not Becca, um, yeah, no, Becca's the girl. Becca wanted me to kill him? Ish. I don't know. I... I need to start making you these hard force? decisions. Nope. Do you have any sevens? Mmm... Can I not give it to her? Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. It was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I shouldn't have let that guy go. 
Boyd yeah. would still be alive and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing to do. Anyway, Roman's obsessed with keeping this place secured now. Ah, uh, Boyd you know died. that's impossible, right? Well, after last time, Roman isn't taking any chances. Then he should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Mmm, the rebel teenagers. Do you know how dangerous that is? Did anybody see you? Did anyone see you leave? No, no one saw me. You've got to stop doing that. You're going to get us both in a lot of trouble. Also, where's she even going? Such a big deal. We had another break-in just last month. Uh, Becca, you know what it means if someone were to see you and follow you back here. No one is following me. There's no one else out there. Shell, I need to talk to you. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. Aw, would Boyd have still been alive if we hadn't? Give us a minute. Yeah. Just don't take too long. What was that all about? Don't worry about it. I don't know. I don't know. Probably not good, though. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. Aw, this is the first time we got to see their garden and the painting. This isn't going to be good. I just want to make sure there's nothing else. It's like, where are you even sneaking out to? How come no one's watering these? Ah, uh, this had to be... It was Boyd, I think, painting, right? Ah. Uh. Alright, we have Joyce. At least they've got it secured enough that they can be outside and get some fresh air. Joyce, do you know what's going on? I don't know if I should say anything. Please, what is it? They caught Stephanie stealing and then <gasps> trying to escape. Oh my god. Oh shit. What are they gonna do? I don't know. What can we do? I'll go talk to Roman. But where was she trying we'll to run off to? She was gonna go off on her own? Or she's been talking to other people? Roman? Good, you're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? This chapter. We caught her trying to escape. Now she's a risk. Maybe she wasn't? Maybe she wasn't. Maybe she just wanted to get outside these walls for a while. Ever since the incident, you've made this place feel, I don't know, oppressive. We've made mm -hmm. it safe. She was definitely trying to escape. She had most of our ammo and medicine with her. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? Yeah. Uh, you want me to take care of it? Yeah. You want me to take care of it. You and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance, but we did, and it was wrong, and now Boyd is dead. No. <laughs> We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now, and I need to know that you're with us 100%. I need to be cutthroat. Wow. Let's talk to her Let's first. Talk to I do want to talk to her See first. See if we can talk some sense into her. No. When she tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo, she knew that could mean the death of any one of us. If we give her a second chance, she might not try to leave so quietly. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Just don't tell her anything. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Here we go, Maggie overthinking, but hear me out. What if they want you to kill her this time, like choose to kill her this time? Because they know that you, like, I'm sitting here and realize I messed up. I should have killed the guy at the beginning. 
to be fair, <laughs> especially because I liked Boyd so much. Um, but maybe they're playing on that now and I'm going to choose to shoot her and then it will have been the wrong thing this time around. But the first time it was the right thing to do. Shell? Uh, What's wrong? Am I in trouble? I'm my own worst enemy. This is going to be hard for you to hear. Stephanie tried to escape. Mm. Stephanie was her music teacher, kind of. The one that was... It's Stephanie. Distracting. She stole a bunch of supplies and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? Becca is cutthroat. I kind of like it. Because this place isn't safe anymore. Doesn't matter. She did what she did. Stupid. Roman wants me to do it. I'm but I sorry. want you to do it. No. <laughs> Let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there. In the drawer. Wow. Becca already... I think she'll be fine for surviving if she can make these hard decisions. Let's grab the keys too. If I can. You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? Oh! We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. What group? There's like how long? nobody left. No longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. But does Roman have a vehicle too? Like, will he be able to hunt us down? I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. Mmm. Mmm. No, I'll do it. No, I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. To decide. Do we run? sucks. Do I stay or do yeah, I does. go? Shell, it's time. <sighs> Everything okay? All right, I need Shell, to start. Come on. Realistically, I don't think it would be good if we tried to flee. Shell, I don't do ever want to put you in danger. If that means this is what we have to become, then it is what it is. Becca will remember this. Hopefully in a positive light because she was willing to do it herself. Taking the RV would have been stupid, I think. I'm sorry. Me too. Hmm. I know she's still sad, even though she knows it has to happen, but it's like, you just said you were willing to kill her. That was it. Damn. They're all so short. I need to know what it leads up to. There's got to be more, like... Mm, let's go, Vince. Let's definitely go. He's holding a red solo cup. Only smart decisions ahead. Damn it. I told you. I already told you it wasn't me, man. Man, come on. I told you like like 20 times. I don't even I don't even know you, bro. <gasps> okay. Out of the frying pan into the fire. Ah, uh, this is before the occurrence. Shit. It's gotta be. Oh, fuck. Oh, I feel like I should have held on to it. I just... Crap, stupid decisions already. Damn it. 
Uh, they caught him anyway, okay. Two days in. They were still, okay. Listen to this crap anymore. Two hours. Think it'll clear up soon? Wait a minute. The traffic man? It's supposed to have been at the pen an hour ago. Can't believe these assholes are letting us roast. Oh, relax. Mm. It's not your fault. What the hell, man? What? You know. Cut it out. Jesus, <laughs> you guys. You gonna make me? Yeah. Hey, Vince. Justin's gonna make me. It's too hot for this shit. Vince, He's ever quit it. I'm making him hot now. Yeah, Danny, you're making me hot. <laughs> I knew it. I got that Latin heat you can't resist. Come here, boy. <laughs> Settle down, assholes. <laughs> he started it. Hey, man. Oh, we're resorting to, to he started window. it. It's a prison bus, asshole. The window. Hey, Justin. That shit ain't See that right, guy man. in the beat up truck? <laughs> right. I bet he Shut lives in that there. truck now. You probably got his whole house. Life savings. Shit. I bet you stole his dog. You steal his dog, man? I wasn't stealing from guys like that. Mm. Anyway, better than stealing his virginity. Hey, how many times I gotta tell you? Here we go. Seriously, I was falsely accused. How Damn. old was she? 15. Damn it, it ain't like that. You telling me there wasn't a star witness waiting around in your white van? I'm shocked. We're all in the same boat here. What's the point of arguing? The point is, I'm not like that. My lawyer's gonna be hearing Tell about you what, this. Guys, he gonna I have your afraid to say it. Jobs when he hears I'm about really this. missing my girlfriend right now. You I'm guessing she's pretty pissed nerve, at you. Man. It's I worse swear, than that, man. She won't talk to me. Um, I um, her voice in months. With that really accusation? Me, like, for real. Just let it go, man. I want Forget to, about her. But, you know, I love her, man. You should call her up when we get there. You gotta face that shit. You know, you're right, man. First call I get. Danny, I know you don't realize this because you're you, but you probably ruined that poor girl's life, you piece of shit. Big talk from white collar back there. How many lives you wrecked, kid? Who cares? How did the hell up in here? Feel like dehydrated. some kind hey, of Wall Street banker. Shut I thought you took the there. stand and cried your eyes out. Telling you again. Didn't you lose your yeah, shit man, and tell them you didn't know what you were up, doing? Yeah. <laughs> I up. lied. Turns out I'm good at that. You lied on the stand? See, that's the kind of shit I could never do. Religious? Um, no, nah, man. Watch a lot of cop shows? Nope. What then? Say anything it to just the ain't right. Time. Oh, give me a break. Yeah. It's a tough call. <laughs> Why do more time than you need to? Gotta stay clean, man. Oh, look, the pit stop. The it's right, okay. You wanna know the funny thing? I don't regret any of it. I carried my victims for years. They knew what they were getting into. And now here I am, and there they are. And Wall Street assholes pulling the same scores are smiling on TV. Fuck that. He wasn't How did it all work, anyway? It was like, uh, a pyramid scheme. Yeah. Aren't those kind of shit? It was a really good pyramid scheme. Good shit is still shit. <laughs> this was some pretty elegant shit. Oh. Yeah, well, enjoy your elegant cell, you know? How'd you live with yourself? Easy. I didn't think about it. How much did you Sounds make off great. with anyway? Enough. So like a couple hundred K? A little over a hundred. Million. God damn, boy. Jeez. Oh, when we get out of here, you, me and Vince, we got to go into business. Know what I'm saying? You know, I don't actually know a thing about you, Vince. Maybe he's a priest. Yeah, Father Vincent. I bet he touched a kid. Two kids. You touch a couple kids, Vince. No. I helped my little brother. They send you to prison for that now? He was in trouble. I had to help him out. I knew it was something stupid. You regret it, man? If you're saying what I think you are, I got respect for you, man. But that's a hard thing to carry, you know? I don't, I don't regret, regret it. it at all. Sometimes you gotta do the hard thing. Yeah, I know what you the mean. The game's telling me. How'd they get you? <laughs> Tossed the gun up on a roof. And? It was a good throw, and a roofer found it the next day. Damn it. You, know you got to be kidding But the trash would have been worse. Man, I feel like the trash would have been... Man. Bad luck? You would have been caught either way. <laughs> That's not bad. You, man. What do you think, Shut Justin? The fuck up. What the fuck are you going to do about fuck it? Fuck you. Fuck me? Ooh. 
Fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh. What the hell is going on back Bradbury, there? knock it off. Hey, get in there, man. What Sit down, goddammit. Hey, let him go, man. That Damn it, Crabtree. Don't make me come back there. He's now. gonna kill him, oh, bitch. Let the guard handle it, guys. Fuck that. We gotta get in there. You do oh, not want to get in the middle of that shit, Danny. Motherfucker, bitch. We gotta do something. You know this ain't right. I'm not doing any more time to save some stupid ass. Where's your empathy, Help him, Danny. Help him, Danny. What's that? Speak up, boy. I can't Fucking hear chain's too short. Crabtree, I'm warning you one He's last time. He's not listening, man. You gotta get in get there. Get yourself in there and wake that shit Go up, on, man. man. Come on, boy. Get back there. Okay, asshole. Let him go. Get in between them, goddammit. He's gonna kill that boy. Do you something. Crabtree? Last what warning. Knock him, knock him out. Knock him out. Knock him out. Knock him out. Go, goddammit. No! Are you serious? What the fuck was that? Fuck. Jesus. What happened? What did you do, boy? God damn it, boy. Answer me back that there. He's gonna turn into a walker. Get those cuffs off him, man. Shit. No, no, no. Is he? What the hell was that? He he made a move on me. I, I, I don't know. This is crazy. Nobody had to die. This is what happens when you give guns to assholes. He's uh fucking fuck. You gotta call someone, man. What? He's about to turn. I'm calling this in. Don't. Don't this call it in. Come. You just, killed a guy. You gotta deal wait, with that. Okay? Just give me a damn minute. Dispatch, come in. You killed that guy. You gotta deal with it, man. I just need a minute. I need a minute to think. You ain't got a minute. Oh, shut up, you now me? you want to think. Just shut your mouth. Okay, okay. Calm down. Everybody calm down. Take it easy. I'll calm down when you quit running your fucking mouth. Okay. Everybody needs to calm the fuck down. Situation's bad enough as it is. He's right. Let's all just, we should've just take not it talked. down a notch, okay? Uh, no. You really want to pull that trigger again, son? Walker. Thanks, man. Behind him. What the fuck? That. What the hell? Did you see that? I saw it. Yeah. This is the most hey, intense one by get far. Us the hell out of here. We're not going anywhere. Fuck that. Get this bus moving. <sighs> hey, driver. I said let's go, we're man. We're staying right here. We're safe inside the bus. Nothing's gonna. Oh, oh yeah. Shit. Jesus. How did that taste, kid? Oh my God. Hey, hey, you need to call someone. You hear me? We need to. Did he just oh. bail on us? Oh, Jesus. Grab the gun. Grab the gun. What the hell, man? Back up, back up. Fuck, fuck, fuck! He should be able to move backwards. I think he can move backwards, no? He can't reach us. You sure about that? But the other one can. <gasps> the other guy got unlocked, Shit. but his head what was blown doing, off, guys? so he's fine. Come on! Okay. We gotta this do one. something! Never mind, he I'm must have undone this thing. one. We need to get out this fast, one. Man. Find a weapon. Find a weapon. What kind of weapon? The Where's gun! The gun? Yeah. yeah, the gun. Good thinking, Justin. Where the fuck is it? I think it he fell on it. It's underneath it. Oh, fuck me. He's gonna turn soon. Gotta go quick. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get the gun, man! Get up, Vince! Hurry up! We need to kill the guard Shoot first. Double tap. Do okay, it. double tap this one first. Double tap the guard. Oh, oh. Watch it, man. Sorry. Sorry. The guard has the keys, man, too. I can't believe this shit. Can you believe this shit, man? No. We gotta find some way to get out of here. Mm, keys, keys, yeah. keys. I just feel like we should kill him what first. What are you doing? Can't do anything until we get out of these damn chains. Yep, there here Maybe it he's comes. Got the keys on him. Shoot him first. Nothing. What? Well, that doesn't shit, make sense. If the keys aren't on him, then where the hell are they? He must have left them up front. Crap. Oh. Maybe we finally caught a break. Danny, hey no. buddy! <laughs> what the fuck? God damn it, Danny. You always put your fucking foot in. you, man. You gotta get out of here before any more of them show up. 
That's not gonna hold. Vince! Fire the fucking gun! I'm gonna fire the gun at this Come guy. Come on, Vince! Whoa, whoa, watch it! I don't know! Uh oh We gotta get the keys first then. Okay. You gotta shoot him in the head. Doesn't matter if you don't shoot him in the head. Yeah. And attract him more. Crap. Okay. Keep shooting, man. Oh, cause that's really gonna work? How the hell are we gonna I, get I know why I picked that option, but still. Can we just shoot off the chains? No I way. tried. Wouldn't cut through. What about the cuff? If we shoot one of those off, the chain will slip right out. Are you fucking insane? What do you think is gonna happen if you fire a shotgun that close to someone's foot? Well, what do you think's gonna happen if we don't get the fuck out of here? We are not Vince, shooting give our- give me a gun! We gotta do this! No, 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 no. Back off! I'm not about to shoot his cuff. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Vince! What the fuck? There, 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 there. Wait, was there another option? You want me to shoot one hey, or the other person's- I know you're a good guy. You're gonna do me and not this rapist fuck? Come on! You know I'm a good guy. I have to guy, judge man. them by. I'm not trying to judge them by what they're uh, supposedly accused of. Because think of Lee. I'm not you... supposed to be here. I know you think I'm an asshole, but. Oh my gosh. You're gonna leave me and not this lying shithead? I never did anything to you. <laughs> Sorry. I... No, 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 no! You can't. No, oh my Thanks. gosh. I have a family. Please. <laughs> This is really the only option? Oh. Vince, please. Oh! 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 oh, oh Shit! Oh, still attached. Oh, Again! Oh, Do God. it! Oh! Vince! Oh. 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 Let's go, let's go! Oh. 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 Yeah! Oh! Um, in that decision, I wasn't judging based on who's cry like who committed what crime. I judged on like which character I just felt would be better in survival. And I felt like Danny would kick some walker butt. The banker he, he, I don't know. I guess never underestimate. So Vince, we <sighs> Yeah. Okay. It was a little sickening. Let's go, Bonnie. This is hard. These are really... Y'all know I'm already bad at making these decisions. It's just testing me even further. Okay, I got one. A snake for a tongue. You are so bad at this. Would you rather have a snake for a tongue? Oh, I love or these. Or lobster claws for hands. <laughs> Ooh, 220 days in. Bonnie, ooh. Snake for a tongue or lobster claws? I'm gonna go with snake for a tongue. Cause not having your hands. Are the claws human size? Can, Can I, control? I control this snake or does it have free reign? <laughs> free reign, well. I'm thinking. Think harder. And how exactly do you think harder? Although I don't Good know boy. if you could ever. I'll think about yeah! that. Snake tongue. Snake tongue. Gross. What? How is it more gross than lobster hands? Well, for one, it's in your mouth. Hey, you asked the question, Haas. <laughs> okay, how about... Well, never mind. I probably ought to stop bugging you with stupid hypotheticals. Oh, come on. You'd be a lot less fun. You've been a lot more fun lately. Feeling better? I guess I am. Well, you sure do look better. Though, uh, you gotta admit anything is an improvement. That came hey. out wrong. What I mean is... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it did. You were... You were, uh... You know. You know, you're not perfect either, Mr. Lobster Hands. Maybe I should spend a minute listing off your flaws. See how you Ooh. like it. Me? I ain't perfect? That's right. And you're older than dirt. Look, as long as you stay <laughs> off that stuff, you can have all the flaws you want. I mean it, though. After we found you, you were still so hooked on that stuff, well... I never thought you'd make it. You ain't out of the woods yet, I know, but... Well, you've come a long way, Bonnie. And I'm proud of you. Aww. 
I'm a real poster child. You're a good friend, Leland. I know. Did you okay, just friend zone you're me? you're not that great. Look, you know I ain't going nowhere, right? Long as we're together, I'll be there for you. You ain't gotta worry. You know that, right? Again, hitting us with a very different situation you wouldn't immediately think about. What are you saying? Bonnie, I... Leland? Bonnie? D. Hey, honey. <gasps> Scoundrel. I found Scallywag. us something. Scallywag. What are you two up to? Oh. It's private. Just chatting. Just chatting. Chatting, huh? I did see his wedding ring on, but I, I, I kind of assumed that his wife was dead. And he was out. Oh, <laughs> um, the rain. Won't let up today. Huh. Well, sounds like real stimulating conversation. Crap. I talked Glad about the I weather. I got you a present. Oh, you shouldn't have. What'd you find? I'll tell you later. I don't mean to interrupt your chat with your uh, girlfriend, but uh, we mm. gotta get moving. Does she girlfriend? What the hell was that? Does she think we? So where did you the get the leopard that? print D? collar? By the way. D? <laughs> D, did you hear me? Keep up the pace, you two. What's in the bag, D? I told you, it's a surprise. Hey, D, when we get back to camp, would you let me borrow some of that nail polish? Sure, hon. You like this color? It's my favorite. And after today, I could use a new coat, you know? Same here. I feel like a drowned rat with these claws. Oh. I have to interrupt the girl talk here, but uh, D, that, that bag. Look, I found it down the road a piece, all right? Where down the road? Some place off that away. Damn it, D, you gotta Stop give us more so than cagey. that. Quit being so cagey about it. Me? Cagey? You two are the ones being cagey. Calm down, D. Just tell us where you found the bag. You guys sure gang up on me a lot lately. Honey, that ain't true. Tell me one time you sided with me in the last week. The last month. Ooh. All right. I can't remember one especially, but I know I have. False. This is how all our fights go. Every time. Now we're standing here in the woods, soaking through, and for what? Don't you want to get to the camp before dark? I ain't the one who stopped. Hush, but you are the one who made me stop. And regardless, we could just as easy carry on like this while we're walking. Oh, I have about had it with that attitude. Attitude. Walkers. Now we're standing in this goddamn You're rain. You're gonna draw every dead thing for miles around. No, no you place. That on purpose. You listen to me now. I have had it up to I here with listening to you. To I can't believe you are still religious after My what we've faith. been. Leland, that's enough. It's obvious you can't win this one, so why even bother trying? Bonnie, I appreciate you trying to Ooh. help, but let me handle this, all right? Thank you, Bonnie. Bonnie, finally, someone makes some damn sense around here. Bonnie, darling, I'm I'm sorry we're darling. Whoa. Hey, come on. Ooh. Save it. I know what side your bread is buttered on. Yours oh. too. The, no, what not the side time. your bread is Whatever buttered is on? Got, I'll hash them out later. It's always later. I, I refuse to get in the middle of this. Well, too bad. You already are. I'm sorry. Butter her buns I just and call get her a biscuit. Where I can change my clothes, and then you and your girlfriend can. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh god! Run! Come on! We gotta move. What are you talking about? Oh shit! Time to run. Stop going so fast! Oh! oh. What? Oh. What? Are you kidding me? They just shot me? Unreal. Oh no. Oh. Not the type of sledding you wanna have. We're right by the bus. They do all, they do all connect in some way or the other. Oh, and that was the guy that was driving. Oh. The cornfield. Somewhere somewhere there's a flashlight, no? I don't know if they connect like that or... I don't think they connect like that, but I know there's a flashlight somewhere. I, I think they left it in a different maze. But they are all near each other. Leyland! Through here! Look! Come on. Don't. Crap, 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 crap. Okay, run forward. D! Ah! 
I don't know. I don't see shit out here. He's right by us. Go one more over. <gasps> shit. Where are you? I can't see a damn thing out here. Anybody got anything? It wants us to keep going over. Don't move. Anything? No, I can't see a damn thing out here. Oh, this is the other group. Okay. The other group. So the other group shot us? All right. Yeah, okay, that explains it. It's not like we're gonna find the flashlight, but it alludes to them being in this cornfield. Stop groaning so much, good lord. It's like dead by daylight. Watch over me. Mm. Okay, Bonnie. Stay calm. This looks like a weapon. Find a weapon. Yeah. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Press and hold a button to grab. Then push left and right. Okay. Uh. Nice. Uh, no, I, I tried to press A, it just didn't give me like, that is, oh, that's stupid, because I really did try to press A, it just came up so quickly. Ridiculous. Two deaths, two deaths overall. Mama, watch over me. Oh, so interesting. This isn't Boyd that we get killed, okay, because Bonnie. the flashlight was Stay lost calm. before we made Fun. that decision. Oh, Okay, here we go. I'm not gonna miss it this time. As soon as I see the prom. I guess they might not show us who it is because we probably wouldn't know. Oh, Bonnie. <gasps> oh, no. D? Oh, God, D? I I'm so sorry. Oh, God. Why? I you wanted your husband? <laughs> why? Do. Do, do I, I didn't know us. How bad is it? Uh, Bonnie? It was dark. It's so dark. I, I couldn't see you. I, I didn't know it was you. How was I supposed to know it was you? Mm. There, there was no... Mm. I thought I... Mm. saw you. You... You did this. Oh, God, you killed me. You, you killed me. Anybody see anything? I should it's never have tr trusted oh. you. Just, just a junkie, Leland. <laughs> I didn't mean she to do this. To me. I, I didn't mean to do this, Dee. I swear to God, I didn't mean to. You, you love him. I saw seen him. Look at you. I, I, no, God, I'm sorry. I need him. I need you both. <laughs> oh, man. The dying words. I didn't thank you. Help the stones. It was an accident. Oh, damn you. Dee, I would never. I swear this has nothing to do with him. It was an accident. You fucking junkie. I love how she turns her head to die. Dee, Dee, did you find her? Oh no. Honey, I, I thought they got you back there. Jesus, are you shot? Yes. Dee, oh God, what happened? Oh Jesus, oh Lord, Bonnie, what happened? Oh. Oh my God, Dee. Darling. It doesn't matter. I found what her like this. I had to do it. Your face. Her face, Bonnie. I, I, I don't know. I, I found her like this. How did this happen? Lying is Why never the uh, right way to go about this, but we got to get out of here together. Come on. Come on. She deserves a proper burial. We can't just leave her here in a fucking cornfield. Can't leave her like this. Help me move her. 
Bonnie. She may turn. Please. We can't take her with us. What if she turns into one of them things? She won't do that. Leyland. Keep moving. You gotta be closing in. Leyland, we gotta go. Okay. God, okay. But I don't... Oh. You got anything to say to her? Hey, Dee Dee, do you eat? <laughs> I'm sorry, D. I'm sorry, D. I really, truly am. She loved you, Bonnie. I'm oh. Sorry. I'll do this to you, darling. I'll leave you here. Call out if you see this him. way. We can't stay here forever. I know it's hard, but I need you, Leland. <laughs> I think I saw something over here. Grab the nail polish real quick. <laughs> Grabbing the bag. If she's gonna die for this thing, I for damn sure ain't leaving it behind. I do want to see what it is. Oh gosh. Okay, so we stole it from. Okay. Yeah. So we had to have stolen it from this group, and that's why they were tracking us. Yeah. But they know that there's other people. That was it. That was it for Bonnie. Okay, this, they're better, okay, after we see Russell's, we better be able to see, like, all of them together. But I don't, I don't know what the purpose of this DLC was, other than to show you a couple different, let's see it, let's get it. So, graduation, either high school or college. Ooh. 184 days in, and we're just walking in the middle of the road. Look in my backpack. I got like 60 miles left. Oh. I think. Ain't shit. We're trying to walk 60 miles at this pace. Mile seven. I also feel like he's walking too far to one side of the road with these bushes. Hey, you getting up? Good. He survived 184 days by yelling, are you alive? Are you gonna get up? I should probably hurry. Oh no, the guy, oh, and look, shit, shit, the shit. light's out too, so this is after that fact. <gasps> Lily. Oh no, Carly! Gross, man. Oh! When Car Carly got shot in the head too. So we know she's dead. Eh, they saw us. Oh man, Carly. I see you cuddling with your girlfriend down there. Shit, bro. I don't want no trouble. Please. You just want to be left alone with your friend down there? Hmm. No, just. Leave me alone. Look, I don't care what you do to whatever corpse you find. I wasn't. What's your name? I should have stood my ground, but then we wouldn't have seen Carly. Russell. Let's answer. Russell. I kind of want to be somewhat cooperative. So you didn't steal that bag. I don't care who you steal from, if you did. Maybe you're in a gang that likes to rob people. I don't know. Are you in a crew? You got some boys wearing hoodies I gotta worry about? Intense profiling. Because you steal from me and I'll get your throat out. It's I don't mine, care I didn't who you steal run it. With. You understand? It's mine. I didn't steal it. Alright, good. I don't like thieves. Just get in the car. You're gonna get eaten out here otherwise. I don't I'm trust bored. this guy. Come on. Scoot. We also you know that he just forever. shot somebody. Fine. Fuck. See if I give a shit. You take me to Statesboro? I'm trying to get to my grand's house. I should never oh, trust strangers. Just get in. We'll get there. Or somewhere. Eventually. <laughs> I 
I like the, uh, show bet. His name's Nate, by the way. Thanks for asking. You thirsty? Uh... Drinking and driving. Here you go. Uh, we, we saw him shoot somebody point blank, so I feel like I need to cooperate a little bit. <laughs> Good shit, ain't it? Hell of a kick, but it takes the edge off. You'll get used to it. Actually, I think that's it for me. I'm good. All right, fine. You want to tell me about where you come from, at least? You must have been with a oh. crew. Oh, yes. It's the sideburns for me. Any tail back where you come from? Maybe drop you off, do a double back. Ew. No tail. No, uh... Damn. I retract my question. There was a girl mm -hmm. who I liked, all right. Your argument's semantics, Russ. Give a pal the deets. <sighs> all right. There was seven of us. I didn't have any family there or nothing. They were all at my grand's down in Statesboro. There was a dad who had a daughter about my age. One guy said he used to be a cop, but nobody really believed him. Then a teacher and his wife. Leader was this guy, Steve. Go Steve. back to the daughter. Steve was a bad dude, but everybody was with him, you know? He said seven was the magic number, so we didn't add nobody to the group. We found survivors. Mm -hmm. It was the same every time. He... He... Let it out, Paco. Damn. Just... We gonna kill these folks and take this stuff or what? Then bang! They'd be dead. Anyway, I, I couldn't handle that. After weeks of it, I packed my shit up and figured I could make for Grands alone and try to find my family. Ah. I slipped out of there. I couldn't live like that. So nobody got down with the daughter then? No. Oh they my didn't. gosh. Who would you give her? Strong six. Just tell me something about it. How was the rat? Give me a little something. Just a taste. Russ, I'm doing you a service here. I gotta get my beak wet. Put it Ew. Right in here. Why you gotta be like that? Like what? Always talking about women like that. Women? <laughs> okay, well, let, let me see if I can answer your question. Because, because the hunger a man's got for a woman is all we got left now. No laws, no jobs, ain't nothing that make us men. But they ain't eating all the women yet. Whatever. Let's try this again. All music. Right, maybe someone who wasn't so near and dear to your heart. <laughs> what the fuck? Come on. Scale of one to ten. What do you think? Ah! <gasps> oh. Damn, oh. Front, right? I think. Here, get a look. Oh my oh. gosh. Like a nine, right? Get off me. Maybe you got high standards. Oh. Oh. If you think oh. I would give a fuck. They're really covering all the bases of the assholes that you would encounter in this situation. Between cannibals, creeps. Trying to get gas here. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Red Steiner's right here. But they weren't here. Let's look yeah. for some supplies in here. See if we can fill up while we're at it. Don't be mad. I Fine, def be mad. Just stop being a pussy. I'm out of here. I don't like being scared. I. Right. Oh shit! Go! What? Oh yeah, yeah. So here's the thing, right? Russ, making your making your hideout a diner and pit stop for gas and everything, it, it might as well have like a bright flashing light. Stop here, there's survivors here. I feel like, I don't know. That would be one of the first places I would try to look. Fuck down, man! You don't wanna be there! Get to the truck, I'll cover you! 
Uh, I'll get shot. You got bullets now? You got bullets this time? Don't think about it. Just run. I'll keep his fucking head down. I'm really not trying to get to the car. All right, I'm getting shot. Good hustle. What happened to I'll cover you? Look how good you did. We're screwed. What are we going to do? I shouldn't have come with you. All right. What are we going to do? First, we're going to figure out exactly where this asshole is. Just get a quick glance. No, you get a quick glance. Come on, just to pull me down. See? Easy. Now we know where he is, we can fucking get him. All right. Yeah. That's Except the that there's spirit. more than one. Let's push this truck for cover. Okay. It's in neutral. Just keep your head down. Keep your head down. Shit! Russell, Just no. keep pushing! With the pop tire? Oh, shit. Okay, we're hard Shit. stuck. Push. Yeah. Uh, uh, end of the road. What this now? This is not gonna be good. We're gonna get around the side of the building. We gotta go from cover to cover. Seriously, this time. I'm not fucking around. You're gonna cover me? Yeah, no problem. I'm Easiest just being pop. very like. Just don't get shot. Just if go along with car, it for now, cause we'll we're be just trying to survive. Here. You can cover me first. I'm not fucking around. You cover me, then I'll cover you. Or if you want to go first, that's fine too. I'll, I'll cover you. you. You go first. Just shoot at the window and keep that fucker's head down till I get where I'm going. Mm. You can throw me the gun, and I'll do the same. Ready? Yeah. All right. You ready, Russ? Cover my ass now. Shoot, kid. Dead. Remember. Don't stop shooting. Fire! All right. Okay. Throw me the I didn't want to waste too many bullets. You. Three bullets used. I'm trusting Nate for no damn reason, but. Go! Go, 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 go. Okay. Good job! Now what? What is that, six we bullets there, total? Be good. Go. I don't trust it. The watchdogs. If they're even here, they may not be here. I forget how many days in. We're not as many days in as the group that was here. So it might just be one person. Thanks. Thanks. We're not done yet. Let's what see if we can get in around back. Sneak up on this asshole. With the flammable liquid? Follow me. He saw where you were going. We're actually gonna try to sneak up on him. Man, what are we doing? Well, we gotta get in there. Fucker shot at us. Russell, relax, man. When this is over, we're gonna take what we can, head on down to your grams, and have a big old home cooked meal, all right? Come on. He just wants my grandmother. Wonder if the chapter just ends if you decide to shoot him when you're covering him. All right. We're gonna be fucking quiet. We're gonna sneak up on this son of a bitch and take him out. You hear me? Not a fucking beep. Let's go. Who do you think it is? I feel See like it. we're gonna know the person. Check through the window. Please See if know. there's anyone else. We definitely know. We have to. I think it's just the one person. I think I saw a guy. Shh. No shit. No, Grab this is a different person. I'll cover you. Do I sneak up? Just jump out and grab it. Your call. Sneak up? Nudge the left stick to forward. Okay, gently to sneak up quietly. Push the left stick forward to firmly jump out. Go! 
Don't fucking move! Walt! Oh! Get oh. the fuck out of here, you monsters! Whoa, Gramps! I Whoa. told you not to come back here! Think you can just leave your mask at home? What? And now you're with this fucking spook! First I'm... off, watch the fucking racism. This is my boy. Secondly, I I'm don't not fucking your know boy. You. We were just passing by like anyone else. Bullshit! You came back to finish us off and take all our food. You've lost your goddamn marbles. She's dying, and oh, now man. she can see your face. Shut up. We've never been here, sir. Then who shot my wife? Wasn't us. You tried to kill us for no goddamn reason. If anything, we should take you out for that. Please just get the fuck out of here. Please leave us alone. I mean, if we what leave them, say, they're Russ? dead too. Should we just kill these folks and take all their stuff? I don't like the crazy in his eyes. I'm done. That's it, man. I don't know you, and I don't want to. Can't you take a fucking joke? Fuck your jokes. I'm sorry. I'm out. Come on. Can we still be friends? No. I put up with that guy for far too long. Probably should have killed him when I had the chance. They were dead either way. I feel like the people who died in these chapters, none of it was really on me. I think they were all like meant that it was gonna happen no matter what. Oh! We were right. There are survivors out here. Still alive? Oh, they're gonna be happy to get rescued. <sighs> How many are we talking about? Truck stop over here, not safe. Oh. Around five, yeah. Around five, I think. They left a note, so at least we know they want to be found. And I can see smoke in the distance. Probably a camp. I'm gonna try to make contact tonight. Great. Well, just be careful and use your best judgment. We're building a good community here. We want to keep it that way. Of course. Oh, man. So you get to pick? Wow. Red's Diner. Okay, so there is kind of like a survivor camp stuff. I found okay. Him. Holy shit. Good One of them job. looks like a walker. Everything okay? So far so good. I don't trust that. I'm gonna try to talk to him. Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck. Be careful. Don't try to force him into anything. Just get as many of them as you can. Oh, I was looking at the person choppy with the axe. Never mind. Yeah. Hey, don't shit. Don't fucking move. Who the fuck are you? My name is Tavia. How did you find Tavia. us? Tavia. I found your note. It's what I do. I followed the smoke. I found your note. I found your note. I'm a scout for a growing settlement up north. We go out and look for survivors to rescue them. We have food clean water, and shelter for everyone. She's a badass. We're offering you a chance to help us out and start over. God, this sounds too good to be true, but I think it is. Bonnie, get real. Just because she says it's true doesn't mean it is. You should know about that. Where's her At sister? Least what I did was an accident. Hey, that's enough. Guys, look. If I learned one thing from Danny, it's that we have to stick together and protect ourselves. What? That guy was an asshole. You should be happy he got killed before Shell and Becca joined us. Okay, so it didn't Why? matter. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Danny. Wait, you find survivors? Do you find a lot? Not as many anymore, but... Well, we gotta go. Eddie might be there. Wyatt. Look, we need people, plain and simple. And you folks can decide if you want to come as a group or split up or whatever. But I don't want to be out here in the open after dark. So in a few minutes, I'm going to be getting back in my car and on my way. Hopefully, at least some of you will follow me. Oh, Shell, no, she is why there. Why are we okay. even listening to her? She's obviously lying. Even if she's not, I think it's better to just keep on the move. Staying in one place makes you an easy target. I don't care how safe you think it is. That truck stop was a death trap. It was right off the highway, for God's sake. Yeah. No way you and a bunch of sick old people were going to defend it. 
I don't like this guy. We should just walk away. I don't trust her. Of course you don't, Russell. You don't trust anyone. Fair enough. What will it take to convince you? I'm not lying. Then stay here if you want. Be cold. Then stay here if you want. I'm not bringing anyone against their will. We only want people who want to be there. I don't understand what the problem is. Are you really considering staying out here? Foraging for food like yeah. fucking raccoons? I mean, then why did we even leave the photos there? Well, it could be a trap. What if they want to kill us? Thank you. Everyone out there is batshit crazy. I also We've feel like it'd be easier well, to kill you now in that open rapidly. field. Relative. Just as much speaking. If we wanted to kill you, you'd be dead yeah. already. I had a gun and snuck right up. Well, what's stopping you? Exactly. Nothing. <sighs> Look, I know you guys are wary, and you have every right to be. You don't know me from a hole in the ground. And yeah, there are some crazy fuckers out there. All I'm here to do is make an offer. You can come with me, or you can stay here. The choice is yours. So, I like her. Who wants to come with me? I like her. Oh, predictions. I feel like she's going to come with her. Yeah, yeah. I don't think Beck and Shell will. I feel like Wyatt might. The first guy, that guy. I feel yeah. like, yeah. I have to. Ooh. I don't, yeah, I don't think anybody, I knew they weren't going to. Um, I'm just not sure. We've been out here for so long and seen so much bullshit. Mm hmm. I mean, is it really worth getting our hopes up? Of course it is, Russell. Hope is all we've got left. You but might find smart, people you know. That's what's keeping us alive. We have well, people of all yeah. ages in our colony teenagers, whole families. It's a chance to reconnect with people the way you used to. That's not true. I believe Rebecca. Look at her. This is not someone who's been struggling the way we have. It's it actually sense. really good on. Can you promise my sister will be safe? She'll be as safe as she was before all this happened. Shell, this might sound stupid, but I think I actually want to go. Which I feel like Becca okay. is more harsh than, means that much than to you. Shell, honestly. I'm glad you feel that way. We're not going to be out this way again for a long time. We understand. I think we've all made up our minds. But we can't fit everybody well, in the car? I guess we have our group. What do you want to do with these? Mm, this is a good thing. I know it is. So they left the photos there? How do we know this will work out? You don't? Oh. I give you my word, what's the alternate? You don't. I said it myself. You don't. No, d that better not be the ending. No, 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 no. Oh, no, <laughs> man. Oh, my gosh, my heart. OK, that is such an interesting episode. Before I read these off. Wow. OK, I guess I should go through and then I'll kind of. Yeah, I'll go through these and then I'll give you guys my thoughts. But such an interesting episode. I kind of understand like when I had done my a small amount of research into whether or not I should do this one, which I I pretty much had decided I was going to do it no matter what. But a lot of people said that they just like skip this one and go straight to season two. But I I don't know. I love seeing like all the different scenarios that they cover because I can't like foot stomp it enough but they the developers and the writers and everything they do a great job at showing situations that I just wouldn't think of like in the moment but I guess the like the skeptical side of me like whenever I'm watching movies or stuff like that I'm like the person that's like okay but like when are they eating when are they using the bathroom which I know is like so irrelevant to the storyline and things like that but like I always want to know the reality of like what other people would be going through in different circumstances, especially in season one. Um, the little boy who starved at the top of his house, like that was probably very realistically happening across the country. Because um, if you hid out for too long, right? Like you hide out for too long, then 
you're going to run out of supplies. What are you going to do? So you really have to kind of, there's part of me that feels like you do have to stay on the run. And then if you form a colony, you're going to have to, I mean, if the colony has like farming and things to sustain life on it by working inside the colony, then that's great. But if not, you're going to have to be going out and foraging and continuing to get supplies and all that kind of stuff. So I'm wondering if we'll get a look inside of their colony. Again, I don't know anything about season two. I just assumed that Clem was going to be in it. So I'm really interested to see what happens if there's any tie in to this. Um, but I loved that episode overall. Very hard decisions. Very, um, I feel morally conflicted on every single one of them. But Danny or Justin, whose foot did you shoot off? You and 70% of players shot Justin's foot off. I wonder what everybody else's thought on that was because it's irrelevant in the end because I'm assuming that Justin just like Danny would have been gone by the camp like by the time that the woman comes and finds them at that camp um but I said it back then but yeah I chose Danny because in that situation one he felt a little like despite I wasn't judging them on their um, accusations and crimes that they had supposedly committed I was picturing who I would want to be fighting off walkers with and danny was a little bit more on the uh the brooding side than justin so i definitely was siding with that one um plus justin just seemed like a slippery kind of guy in the first place so stay or go you and 50 percent of players stayed in the car wow talk about split in the middle i did have one of you guys one of y'all did comment that a lot of times people like this is impacted by people's replay throughs like playthroughs and stuff like that um so like the replayability and unfortunately i realize now that probably does skew this harder than when it first came out but i guess i chose to stay i i yeah i should have i don't know how he would have left that situation had he not had the car so i would have liked to see that play out i guess i chose to stay because i was getting annoyed by his conversation in the first place so if he got ate by gators or walkers i was gonna be fine with it um left nate did you leave nate or stay with him you and 75 percent of players left nate i think we can all agree that nate is a very unlikable character i mean not only was i feel like a lot of people in this chapter had horrible conversation um pretty pretty starch contrast to the people that we did meet um in the first season there were some crappy people in the first season but this Definitely took the cake with some individuals that I wouldn't want to run into during this situation. Um, but yeah, Nate, I felt like in that moment when he wanted to kill those people, I was okay with like rolling with the punches and just kind of like using him for the ride. But then as soon as he wanted to kill the the old woman and old man, I was like, nope, we're leaving. Liar. Did you lie to Leland? So you and 75% of players lied, which is interesting because I, I've talked about this in season one. I normally don't go with the lying option. I normally tell the truth, especially when I was playing as Lee. I felt like the truth rewarded me much more than lying. And I think that's where the game plays into your own like okay do i lie in this situation are these people going to kill me if i tell them that i got bit by a walker or that I, I never thought in a million years that they would rally beside me um as lee in the first chapter after telling them the truth so i did choose to lie right here because i wanted to see her survive oh but we didn't see leland at the end i don't even think they addressed what happened to him unless i missed the brief conversation that happened i must have missed like a small tidbit during that last section and then killed stephanie did you leave in the rv or kill stephanie <gasps> wow oh no i'm an evil person <laughs> oh no you and 25 percent of players killed stephanie so a lot of you guys just chose to leave in the rv <gasps> i should have left in the rv here's the thing as soon as becca said um Becca made a comment that he would track us down and I really did not feel like he would be doing that because when we had the RV and I didn't see another vehicle for them to drive. Um, so I think we would have been fine. Oh my gosh, I'm such an evil person. One. Oh no, I did like Stephanie. I did like Stephanie too. Oh man. 
Okay, mistakes were made on that one, but I did go with my gut feeling. And I I think that was still very early on in the short like snippets that I didn't realize just how many choices you had until that chapter was over, until that like little scene was done. So I thought that there would be consequences, I guess, from not killing Stephanie. And I'm going back to trying to be like cutthroat. I feel like I always try to stay with like leaving people alive or letting my empathy play into my decisions and, and keeping people alive. And then the first time that I kept somebody alive, it, it, apparently it had negative consequences to that group. So yeah, <laughs> I can't win. I'm damned if I do and damned if I don't, honestly. All right. Well, I think that is it. Let's see if there's any other stats. Yes. Okay. So, oh, 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 oh. So I'm guessing my last conversation pieces could have swayed these last two people. I don't remember their names. I don't know why I'm blanking on their names. But it looks like Wyatt, the girl. Wait a minute. And okay. So I guess they're lumping Becca and and um what's her name together? Okay. Because they're only showing her picture, which is kind of interesting. But all right. I'm guessing that's going to have impacts later on. Maybe not. I don't know if they're going to go back to these characters. I hope they do. I hope we see some development with them. And I do want to see this colony because so far our only really, I wouldn't even call the farm a colony. I would really just, it was like sketchy people eating people. So it wasn't a colony by any means, but it was a little bit more established than just shacking up on the side of the road or being in a gas station and stuff um and then i do want to see the colony because other than yeah other than hearing this one we've only ever heard of um ah uh, yeah i'm like you know them i want to say hawthorne it's not hawthorne uh whatever that group was that were pretty the like survival of the fittest evil kind of group um so those are the only situations that i can think that we've even seen something like even similar to a well thought out plan. And I'm not saying the farm was well thought out at all. That was sketchy on every part. Oh, you gotta do, <laughs> you gotta show my girl like that. Damn, all right, well, that's gonna be it for this video. I feel like I explained a lot of my decisions a little bit. I do like to do that because I think in the moment, I'm not trying to talk over the dialogue too much other than giving you guys my quick thoughts. Um, but I, I still really enjoyed that episode. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started on season two. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was a little bit shorter of an episode, but I, I don't know. I feel like you guys are getting to maybe like starting to understand the choices that I kind of go with, or like you can kind of predict which side that I'm gonna sway towards, um, which is either a really good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> I think I have a little bit of this evil stroke in me, but I also, I don't know. I still am letting my empathy play into a lot of my decisions, and I think that that's going to get more people killed in season two than I'd like to think about. Aw, they showed the old couple, too. All right, guys. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for giving me time out of y'all's lives to be here and spend time with me, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!